Hey guys, today we're going to talk about modern and we're going to talk about the cards in modern that are cooling off. Uh, first, we're going to start with Kiki Jiki. Kiki Jiki has been dropping in price. He does not see play in the Splinter Twin deck. He does not see play in modern, really. I mean, Splinter with Kiki Jiki is not something that you particularly see happening because Splinter Twin itself is just much faster. Kiki Jiki is a little bit too slow. Which sounds kind of ridiculous, but he's only being played in EDH right now. He's not being played in Modern in any capacity. So his price is going to drop. Also, there might be an upcoming reprint. I believe he's around $25 right now. Should he be reprinted, his price will go down yet again. So overall, a kind of a card that I don't know if I would play him outside of EDH. He's not Modern fast. And there's so many other better cards, like Splinter Twin itself is, he does not belong in a Splinter Twin deck. Because that deck moves a lot faster. The difference between 4 and 5 is a huge difference. It's a difference between protecting your combo and getting blown out. So Kiki Jiki, not really a great speculation at this moment. Uh, next card I'm going to talk about is Vendillion Click. And I do want to talk about this card in some detail. So Vendillion Click, Bob, uh, Goyf, they've all gone down in price. These cards are extremely expensive cards. Uh, Goyf is still around 190 Vendillion Click is around $70, and then Bob is around 100 maybe, maybe 90 These cards have a long way to drop should they be reprinted heavily. And everyone is expecting them to be reprinted heavily. Even a small store, uh, I heard this from actually Locos today, or one of these stores I go to, he's getting 50 cases. And this is a store attached to a gas station. And they're getting 50 cases, or no, hold on, 50 boxes or 50 cases. Regardless, even if they're 50 boxes, no, it couldn't be 50 boxes, but that doesn't make any sense. They don't come in that. Uh, they have to come in multiples of six or, yeah. So, that's crazy, right? 50 cases for a small local game store whose attendance for game days before I went with my friends was zero. And they're getting 50 cases of this stuff. How crazy is that? So Modern Masters, if Vendillion Click, if we know Gwarf is going to be in there, if these cards are included in it, expect them to be reprinted like crazy. Last card uh, is Brimaz. Uh, I put Brimaz in Modern because honestly he sees more. He doesn't see much play in Modern, but it's even that being said, it's still more play than he sees in Standard. Brimaz seems very good. He's one of those cards that just seems very good. He just seems so good, but he doesn't have a deck. And that's like kind of the scary part about Brimaz, if you wanted to go deep in Brimaz, is he is very expensive, but he doesn't really have a place to be. And that scares me, because that means that uh, everyone, his price point is already reflecting what he... It's kind of like an episode of Shark Tank and the guy comes in and they value their company based on what they expect it to make, but that expectation is based on if they get a shark or something and they already have investments. This is kind of the same case where people are already putting Brimaz as an expensive card. It's over 22 bucks. It's over 20 bucks, but he's not seeing play to the level that a card like this would see should see play for 20 bucks. I mean, Geist is not even 20 bucks. Is Geist 20 bucks? I mean, there was a point where Geist was like 12 bucks and Brimaz was like 24 or something or 32. The card is insanely powerful. I just, it's just one of those cards that does not have a home. And I don't know if it will ever find a home because double white, I don't, I mean, that's not, and it's competing against like Kitchen Finks and a lot of really good cards in that slot. So I don't know. I don't see it. Anyway, these are cards that you should be aware of that is dropping, currently dropping in price, at least uh, at the time of this recording. They've all three of these cards have dropped somewhat. 
And next video, we'll talk about the cards that have gone up in price.